I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network. It's day two of PDAC and our team is still on site covering the show. Today's highlights include an interview with PDAC President Felix Lee, who spoke about the atmosphere at the convention so far. The coronavirus remains a key topic of conversation, and he said that PDAC continues to evaluate the environment for the safety of its attendees. Another topic that has come up over the past couple of days is the protest taking place outside the convention center. The general consensus from people at PDAC seems to be that while the mining industry is becoming more environmentally and socially conscious, a lot of work remains to be done to change public perception about the industry. Our reporter Scott Tibbos was on the floor again today speaking to companies. Let's find out what they had to say. Thanks Charlotte. So it's day two at PDAC. Here on the floor I have been asking gold companies Given the uncertainty to do with the commodity prices, do you think that the gold price is sustainable where it is? And if so, how high do you think it's going to go? Yeah, I think it's actually a little low in, in today's environment. I think that the cost of production should have it at, at around at least this price. And I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't see some new highs uh, in the next, maybe not this month, but in the near term. You know, if they ever got rid of the... Uh, the paper gold, as they call it, with the exchange uh, uh, that, you know, the certificates that are sold, it, it could well be over $5,000 an ounce, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon either. But I could see it moving up above the 2000 mark and, and staying there on a, on a steady basis. Oh yeah, uh, but not from an economic point of view. I'm a mining engineer by training, and what I look at is the supply-demand fundamentals. There just aren't any new projects out there to fuel the demand that's currently out there for new mines. So I think that gold price has to go up. It either goes up to, to bring those uh, projects into economic terms, or it goes up to fuel the exploration that will be required to find new projects. So uh, yeah, I'm bullish. You know, I wouldn't want to uh, speculate with your, your viewers on, uh, on where it could go, but let's look at the past. I mean, in the past it was $1,900, uh, you know, and, uh, and it went through that. Uh, if you were to look at that in real terms, we'd be well through $2,000 today uh, in U.S. dollar terms. In Canadian dollars, we're already at a record. Australian dollars, we're already at a record. Uh, I think there's lots of upside for gold stocks uh, in particular because of that leverage. Um, I would say definitely with all the uh, uncertainty in the world that's around at the moment, uh, I think the most likelihood is it will increase. I think for us most significantly, it's not just the gold price in dollars, it's the gold price in Brazilian reais. We actually have all our operations are completely in Brazil, so our exposure to the gold price is actually what is the gold price in reais, because our margin is in reais, our costs are in reais. So we're watching the gold price not only in dollars, but really what actually happens in, in the Brazilian reais as well. And for us at the moment, that's great. I mean, it's, it's through 7,000 reais an ounce. And this time last year, a little over 5,000. So, You know, I think it is sustainable in the, the short term. I think over the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot of people focus on gold and gold stocks. Uh, how high it goes, I don't know. Uh, but... Uh, I think it's definitely sustainable. We'll see it uh, kind of maintain where it's at and with a steady increase as well. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty out there in the markets and uh, you know, traditionally people go to gold and I think, uh, I think we'll see that in the next few years. So it's a good place to be, yeah. I hope so. I unfortunately don't have a crystal ball, but uh, indications I think the, are positive for it, um, especially if the Fed starts easing interest rates, um, you would expect the price of gold to go up as the dollar goes down. And back to you, Charlotte. Thanks, Scott. INN also posed a similar question to our followers on Twitter today. We asked whether the current gold price of about 1600 per ounce is sustainable. At the time of this recording, most respondents had said that they do not see gold staying at the current level because it will go up. That's all for today. INN is already posting video interviews on YouTube, so make sure to check those out. And if you're at the show, you can come visit us on the 700 level of the convention center. See you there.